Hello all the crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, let's talk about some more shader effects in Game Maker. This one's going to be pretty simple, this is going to be a mosaic tile effect. Now you can go ahead and make whatever obvious jokes you want to about that in the comments, but uh, when you're finished with that, uh, we're going to write a couple of lines of code that allow us to... Really what this amounts to is that we're going to downsample an image, and we're going to make it look like uh, when we draw our image here, when we draw our picture, we're going to make it look like it's composed of uh, little tiny squares, or if you really want to, really big squares. Which I guess when you get down to it is all a pixel really is, but anyway. You can do some fun things with this. So, uh, this is my, uh, my example, this is what we're going to have more or less by the end of the video. This is the state of our shader right now, it's uh, currently just a pass-through fragment shader. Uh, it's going to take two uniforms, uh, one for the uh, resolution of the image, or the resolution of the uh, texture that the image lives on. I'm assuming that most of the time when you do this, you're going to be using the application surface, so this is just going to be the uh, height and width of the application surface as a vector two, and a uh, uniform float for, t for the tile count, and that's going to be the number of... Um, not going to run that yet. Uh, that's going to be the number of tiles horizontally in the, uh, the final output image. Uh, in the draw event for this, uh, for this demo project, um, it's uh, pretty straightforward. We're just going to pass in uh, the resolution of these images, which, by the way, they do all live on their own separate texture page. Uh, these three pictures of Longwood Garden that I've been using for these uh, shader videos recently. And the, uh, the tile count uniform is just going to be a number that goes up or down when you hit the up or down keys on the keyboard. So I'm going to spend the remainder of this video in the fragment shader. The high-level description of what we're going to do is very simple. We're really just going to apply a very basic downscaling filter to this image. Uh, you can think of if we were to really zoom in on one of these images and, like, if a tile is going to be, like, four pixels wide, four pixels tall, uh, we can draw a rectangle around those pixels, and we can just say that the entire tile is going to be the color of the pixel in the, uh, the upper left corner. That's going to be our tile effect. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is figure out the uh, texel width and texel height of each of the tiles. So we've got our tile count, which as I said is going to be the number of horizontal horizontal tiles in the, uh, in the output image. Um, if you want to... Um, I guess first I'll do this the simple way, and then, um, and then when we see how that works we'll move on to the slightly more complicated way. Uh, first I'm going to define a float which is going to be tile size, again, in uh, texel units. Uh, this can simply be 1.0 divided by the tile count, so if you have, say, 100 uh, tiles horizontally, uh, then the tile size in texels is going to be 1 100th, and we are going to be essentially rounding the texture coordinates of everything on the texture to, um, well, we'll be rounding it down to the, uh, to the nearest 1 100th. There's a couple ways that you can calculate rounding to the nearest 1 100th, but uh, for the sake of something that I'm going to be doing a little bit later on, perhaps not this video, I'm going to uh, say a vec2 mosaic tile UV is going to be equal to the uh, input texture coordinate from the vertex shader, and I'm going to subtract, uh, we're going to do the modular division of uh, the texture coordinate and the tile size. So modulo uh, texture coordinate modulo tile size is going to uh, divide uh, whatever the texture UVs are by the tile size and return the remainder. So if the tile size is, uh, let's say, 1 100th, if our texture coordinate is like 0 0.015, if you do that modulo division, uh, you're going to get 0 0.005. Subtract that from the original texture coordinate of, say, 0 0.015, and you'll get um, 0 0.1, which is indeed going to round us down to the nearest, um, to the nearest 1 100th. And now, instead of sampling from the texture at our regular input texture coordinates, we can use the, uh, the mosaic texture coordinates. And that is going to give us a rudimentary tile um, effect in our image. And you can see uh, we've got 100 tiles horizontally, we've got 100 tiles vertically. It does indeed give us a very pixelated look, uh, should you want to censor anything in your game. Uh, this would be a more than adequate way to do it. Hey. Or you can do a blur, which I've just made like four videos on. Um, the, uh, this demo program here, you can hit the arrow keys up and down to increase and decrease the tile count if you want. Uh, you can make it really pixelated if you like. Um, after a while, it just stops looking like an image and it starts looking like random colors. Uh, one perhaps obvious problem 
uh, with this is that these these tiles here are not square and if you're okay with having rectangular tiles of the same aspect ratio of the width and height of whatever you're drawing that's fine uh, if you are doing this on a square source image with a one-to-one -one aspect ratio then you're going to get squares that's probably fine um, if you are not if you don't want this and if you want um, for example the mosaic pattern on the 16 by 9 application surface to be um, covered in square tiles instead of rectangular tiles, then you can just uh, enhance this first line here on line 8 just a little bit. So instead of taking a float tile size, uh, which is just one over the, uh, the reciprocal of the tile count, uh, we can make this instead a vector 2. I'm going to also call this tile size. And this is going to be a vector 2 of 1 divided by the tile count. Uh, I should say 1.0 divided by the tile count, just like we were doing before. Um, that's going to be on the um, on the x-axis. On the y-axis, we can say resolution.x divided by resolution.y divided by the tile count. Uh, so instead of saying 1.0 divided by tile count on the y-axis, we're going to uh, divide, we're going to basically take the aspect ratio of the image and divide that by the tile count instead. And this will um, compensate, this will like reverse the effect of the aspect ratio, like stretching out the mosaic tiles. So again, 16 over 9 divided by tile count. So uh, whatever that, uh, whatever that is, I think it's like 1.7 or so. Uh, this will turn into 1.7 divided by tile count, and that will, when we run the game, uh, stretch the tiles back into squares, like this. So we can uh, maybe blow them up a little bit, reduce the tile count number, and we can see that um, we can see that the tiles are squares instead of uh, instead of rectangles. So, uh, that's really all there is to this. Uh, let me commit this change. Again, all we're really doing here is a very simple downscale of the image. We're really just taking the image at, I forget what the original resolution is. I think it's like 1280, 720 uh, in my case here. And we are um, like reducing its resolution uh, so that it's like 100 by 70 or something like that. Uh, this is a very, a very naive downscaling like algorithm. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could instead of just sampling from each pixel at the like corner of each tile and using that color as the color of the whole tile, uh, you could, if you really wanted to, like iterate over every fragment in the tile that you're drawing and take the average and do essentially a blur uh, per tile. Uh, that will be quite a bit more expensive. This is a very simple calculation. And for most of the things that you would want to use a mosaic pattern for uh, in a shader, this is honestly fine. Uh, you can see it performs uh, very well. A blur shader would be more expensive, and it would also uh, it would also scale badly if you have large tiles. But anyway, I just wanted to toss that out there. So that's really it. Uh, I'm going to end this off here. Uh, my name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons making games. I like to post videos on the weird things you can do in Game Maker, uh, 3D stuff, shader announcements like this, so if anything like this appeals to you, feel free to subscribe. I've uh, made quite a few other videos on uh, image filters that you can do in Game Maker at this point. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. You should all go check out the Steam page for Wizardux, which is the game that I have been working on when I'm not doing YouTube stuff. I will have a link to that down in the video description as well. Uh, otherwise, I hope you all find this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Square Crow, Manta Ray, Game Maker, Edward Holt, and DJ Gibbles for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.